Getting free sandbags in Sarasota County was as tough as trying to get bottled water from stores. They went quickly. SNN's Crystal Knowles has the story. Gridlock, traffic, all here for the same thing, sandbags. On Clark Road, people waiting for hours to get to Twin Lakes. Uh, my dad was waiting couple, probably in two hours. Some getting there after debating whether the wait was worth it at Newtown Estates Park. Uh, we drove past earlier, seen there was a lot of people and they were giving out sand, so we went ahead and came back later when they were out of bags and sand. And uh, then the sand came back up and we were just trying to get ready for the storm. I think they were out of bags. Residents agreeing there's not enough for everyone. Well, I was pretty upset because, you know, my son sent me a text at 8.30 this morning said there was 300 people out here. With no sandbags left, they got creative using trash bags and anything else they could find. We went ahead and got a couple barrels and we sanded it out and that's it. I have two bags filled so far before the sand pile ran out and uh, hopefully when this next truck come in I'll have eight bags. The community hoping to save their homes from flooding. Everybody's trying to help each other out. According to the Sarasota County Twitter page, more sandbags are expected sometime tomorrow. In Sarasota, Crystal Knowles. That doesn't work. I'm headed out the state. SNN, Suncoast News Network. And the county wants to remind people it's illegal to get sand from the beach for sandbag use. You can check the county's social media for sandbag updates.